Where do we walk from here? Blinded by events, we search for direction. Lead us. We just had to learn to cut expenditure and we had to learn to produce more and sell more than we buy. And these were lessons I was trying to teach and to tell the country about. There are certain basic things that ought to be taught in a democratic society. Normal courtesy, concern for one another, integrity and honesty, helping oneself, being self-reliant. And these were the lessons we're teaching. All over the country, people are building roads, building schools, building community centers, helping themselves. We were trying to prove that democracy could work in Africa. I know that what we're trying to do, the fact that we were a democratic country allowing opposition, free speech and so on, was a reproach to some people who are wringing their hands with joy. But I'm certain that Ghana will again establish a democratic uh, form of government and we will learn the hard lessons. Lead kindly light. We follow your trail. We follow you, Papa. He is relevant today and he will continue to be relevant. There are many of the things he did which are standing in his name and which will continue to represent the great things he did for this country. Bro Ahafu region. Boreholes were provided at Jinejine, Sampa, Adamsu, Wenchi, Badu and Japekrum. Electricity was also supplied to several towns and villages to promote establishment of cottage industries. Educational projects include classroom blocks for primary, middle and secondary schools at Yeji, Prime, Kwame Danso, Drobo, Sumyai, Bechim, Dian Kwanta and Mim, as well as dormitory blocks for the Brekum and Atebubu training colleges. Among the major roles tied are the Wenchi Techiman, Go Sukuku Sankori, Atebubu Kwame Danso and many others. The PP government also tackled the construction of the Sunyai Airport, Central Region. The Progress Party government constructed over 1,661 miles of roads in this region within two years. Many health facilities, including hospitals, were built. Among them was the health posts and the health center at Utuam. Health centers were also built at Bodwiasi, Chifupraso, Besiasen, and Odoben. Agriculturally, a pilot maize storage scheme was implemented at Aguna Suedro, oil palm nursery at Enyan Dentra, and citrus nursery at Fosu, Eastern Region. The construction of a ministerial block, bungalows, rest houses, junior staff quarters, and administrative office. Health posts were constructed at Abrim and Donkokrum, as well as the construction of health centers at Apidria and Suboy. Electricity was also supplied to many communities, including Tafu, Bunsu, Kede, Suhum, and Sumonya. Within the first two years of the Progress Party regime, 29 communities in the eastern region were supplied pipe water. Over 54,000 acres of existing cocoa were replanted while some 36,000 acres of undeveloped land were planted. Greater Accra region. Prof. Buzia's administration was at the helm of the construction of the Kaneshi Market Complex, which was covered at the request of Prof's wife to protect the women sellers from the sun. A modern clinic was built at Pram Pram. Also, health centers were constructed at Temamaihian. Dodoa and Ubum. Several schools were constructed across the region in communities such as Pon, Apollonia, Baaleshi, Ayukuma, Pram Pram, Uibi, Efienya, and Media, Northern Region. Health facilities were constructed in many communities, including Saboba, Pasengpe, Tuna, Bumpurgu, Gambaga, Daboya, and Gushegu. A nursing school and maintenance workshop was also built at Tamale. By the time the government left office, the following communities in the northern region had been supplied with water. 
upper region. The construction of the Laura Henry School is one of the many achievements for which Prof's administration is remembered in the upper region. Several dams were constructed to boost production of rice in the area. Rest houses, recreational and community centers, social and welfare clinics, office blocks, staff quarters, and bungalows and places of convenience were provided at Bolgatanga and many other places. Volta region. Consortium of Hu Denu Road, Pandu Abutwasi, Golopati, Hohoi Roads. To boost agriculture, Prof's government established a farm mechanization school at Ohau, office building and fumigation chamber at Aflau, stalls for irrigation division at Hohoi. Additionally, dams were built at Ave, Afia Denigba, Avega, and Agotime, Western region. Among the roads constructed were the Driasi Krobo at Yeku, Bainsu Asem Krum Kwanta. Water supply was carried out vigorously by way of pipe water to many communities as well as the digging of many wells. The rural electrification project also took place in the region with power supply going to Ryosu, Hafasini and Enchi. Clinics, hospitals, health centers and other health facilities were constructed. Transportation across rivers in the region was also improved by the construction of new bridges and the provision of pontoon services. This is the vision that I know Prof was trying to. And anybody who reads his work, anybody who was close to him, and anybody who can see, in fact, even his political manifesto, or what he, he did in the first two and a half years, this was what Prof was trying to put across. So only one would wish that we could have another leader like him. One would wish who's got the inner strength, the inner strength to take bold decisions.